name is Paul Jenkins and I'm a product designer at Grey Nichols and uh, just want to talk to you a little bit today about the Kronos app. So Kronos, it was introduced uh, for the 2018 season I believe and um, it's quite an exciting bat at the time because it was a real technological challenge to say well we've got some new rules that the MCC have laid out in terms of uh, the maximum constraints the dimensions of a bat can be, be it from the side or the spine profile. Um, so we were really looking at saying, okay, what can we do to make sure that we get the most impressive swell possible, uh, the most dynamic and full shape, but still not fall foul of those, of those constraints really. So rather than seeing the new rules as a limitation, we took it as a very exciting technical challenge and the result of that was the Kronos. So as you can see here, we just lined up one of the, uh, the blank Kronos bats uh, in the jig, um, one of the actual original shape templates that we came up for this particular model. And um, you can see from the actual spine itself, uh, there's a very pronounced middle that it's got, um, the very nice sustained spine to it. So it's gonna be incredibly strong, give you an awful lot of power from tip to toe. Um, the actual shaping as well, you can see here with how the light nicely just comes through here, how that ridged effect just carries on. And it's able to give you then, as a consequence, this really nice graduation of big swell, but it still passes through the gauge. It's incredibly full profile, actually. When you look right down the middle of it, I'll just take it out of the device and show you. You can see that it's, it's got an incredible amount of wood there, an incredibly high pronounced spine. Um, but the way you're able to get that through the gauge is actually by just shaving a little bit off the edges there. Um, so it creates a very compelling shape and the light catches that quite beautifully actually. And um, it, it's a very arresting aesthetic. And you can see really quite clearly how distinctive the actual shape is, but how cleverly that works. Uh, in alignment with the gauge, you really maximize a lot of those dimensions. So you're getting a fairly full profile, um, but it's still able to pass through the gauge without actually hitting the, these edges here. So you're really sort of getting almost the maximum you can on the spine, getting very close to it on the edges as well. Um, but because of these actual raised sections here, that's mimicking that very full shape. As a consequence of all of that, you're gonna be getting a bat which is gonna deliver you an awful lot of um, hitting power, um, but not compromising on the, on the actual rules themselves. Aesthetically, the Kronos was something that we wanted to really make sure that the shaping of the back was complemented by the stickers and they didn't fight against it. So the actual stickers themselves are shaped to mirror the actual grooves. So as you can see, obviously these grooves run all the way up from the toes to the shoulders. And the stickers try to evoke that shape really and just make sure that it's, it's quite sort of sympathetically blended in. In this instance there, to evoke um, wings as well. So sort of flaring up and giving flight from the bottom there. It's got a repeat pattern that runs through it, which just means that be it a bat, be it a pair of gloves or a bag, you'll, you'll know exactly what family it belongs belongs to without seeing the name, you'll know that's a Kronos. Um, it's actually one of my favourite bats that we've done for a while because that black and gold combination, I always think they go really well together, they look quite classy and um, the way it picks up the spot varnish and the foil of the metal and the way that's a pale gold complements the colour of the willow itself, it's, it's quite a handsome combination. So yeah, that's it, that's the Kronos, so this instance is 600 and it's available now on the website.